Now we're going to a call of a uh, of a man who's on a bicycle yelling at uh, yelling at traffic. He appears to be under the influence, and we have a lieutenant on scene. Apparently, he's just gone inside a video store. What do you What do you want, Angel? Hi, on life. Is that what is that right there? Is what is that right there? Yeah. Probably a methamphetamine pipe. But a I methamphetamine pipe. pipe. Okay. How come you knocked over the display? I drank one Pacifico and I, I started stumbling, man. How old are you right now, Angel? 18. 18, huh? What She's are you doing with alcohol? Turn. Drinking it. He parked illegally, at least. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's good. I'm telling you, I obey the law. You obey the law, huh? I try my best. The, the clerk told me, oh, yeah, I remember him. He came in and applied for a job two days ago. He comes in to check the status of his application, tells the guy, you know what? Don't even call me. Is it pretty typical that you go in to find a job while you're under the influence and intoxicated? Typical? Yeah. Not really, sir. All I do is just try to work and work and work. Angel, I don't think these people are going to hire you. There's a car sitting up here. This is out of place because there's nothing to do over here, so make sure it ain't stolen. A lot of storm vehicles get dumped down here. I'm camping out here, I got kicked out for the night. Hello. Is this your vehicle? Yeah. There's nothing going on. I need some ID. Uh, Cause nothing's coming back on you. So what am I supposed to? You supposed to use my cell phone? Run my minutes up? Fourteen four. Hi, is Debbie there, please? This is Officer Coughlin with Des Moines Police Department, and I'm staring at your Jeep, so I don't think it's in your driveway. Did you give him uh, permission to take your vehicle? Put him in handcuffs. Put your hands behind your back. Ever heard? Do you ever ask a question? I know the answer to, so if I ask a question, I know the answer to. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you your name, because I know the answer now. Okay, okay. so te what's your name? Jeffrey. Thank you. But I really Thank you. I really was Thank you. Now, now I'll give this officer your stuff. Thank you. I really was trying what's to What's your date of birth? Northbound approaching 84th Lane 2. I'll wait for you. Um, there's a vehicle up here. I noticed a driver from earlier. He's got a possible felony warrant. We contacted him earlier in the evening, and he apparently lied to us about his name, so we're going to conduct a traffic stop on him and see what we can come up with. Okay, when my partner ran, you came back as no computer record. Then, okay, wait a minute. Let me talk to you first. Through further investigation, after we left you, records got a hold of him saying that you might be under another name. What's your first name? David. Okay, I'm still giving you the benefit of that. We're going to pull up booking photos and find out who you are. Okay? I'm a twin brother. Your twin brother. Okay. We'll find out. If it's your brother that has the warrant, then we'll deal with it. The person matching the description of the warrant looks just like you with the tattoos. Okay. You're going to jail for felony warrant for obstructing a police officer. I'm Darren. You're Darren. So we're going to end playing this game now, and you're telling me that this is you. Okay. All right. Watch your head. So much for having a twin brother. We had a uh, deputy find a hole in the fence to a car dealer where we've been having recent auto burglaries. And uh, she found a car hidden up the street. She was checking out that car, and now she sees two people sneaking through the hole in the fence. Don't you move! Who else is with you? Nobody. Where were you going? If your car's over there, why were y'all going that way? We was going, he, my boy was going over that way. On the thing. To do what? How'd y'all get in the car lot? Huh? How'd y'all get into the car lot? The fence? The uh, hole in the fence. He says they just happened to be walking around out here and saw the hole in the fence and thought they'd go in. And there's a couple car stereos and rubber gloves. I'm going to go up to the uh, other vehicle up here that they drove up in. Apparently there's some more stereos and screwdrivers and stuff in the back. I'm gonna see how it compares with what they left on the ground. Mag light in the front seat. Got some rubber gloves in the front seat. Couple stereos there, one, two, three, four. I see right off the bat. What are y'all doing in the car lot? I'm sorry? Playing with our walkie-talkies. Playing with walkie-talkies? Where's yours at? 
Probably over there on the ground. Whenever I had to get down. Looks like we have a uh, subject that ran from officers when they tried to stop him. The officers were dispatched to a suspicious vehicle. And uh, when the officers contacted the vehicle, a male subject jumped out of the vehicle and took off running. He's got to be in this area because he crisscrossed. Well, we had a uh, male Hispanic subject, I guess, was going to be stopped. A call that was sent, I don't know exactly what call, but he ran from the officers. The last direction was down this alley. How you doing, sir? Why don't you put the weights back up there? Stop right there, get off that bench. Turn around, land your stomach. Turn around, land your stomach. There we go. My friend Edgar was back here. Is that right? He lives in his house. He said there was no one back here. I was just lifting some weights. Who were you? Copy, I have somebody detained matching the description of the second suspect. Right here. There it is. Yep. I had a little dope sack because I was just I try to get high and just whatever. I just stay up. That's all. I just really. What, were you trying to go over that rear wall right there where you found your stuff? Yeah. I was trying to throw the stuff away, but you guys were all around, so. This vehicle up here that's got uh, expired tabs. We're trying to pull him over up here for a while now, and he's not quite stopping. Sorry, sir, this is my house. This is your house? Yes, sir. What's the address here? Um, good question. What do the red and blue lights mean? It means pull over something. Okay. And what did you do? I continued to my house. Okay. Um, car's got switched plates on. We just ran the VIN, and it's coming back stolen. So we're going to get it confirmed and then hook these people up. Go ahead and hop out of the car. Come back to me. This vehicle's coming back stolen, okay? Yeah. Can you believe it? No, 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 no. No? I paid him. What's this stuff going to be here? That's MSA. What is it? MSA. What's MSA? Working out. So it's not going to be meth? No, it's not meth. No? I don't do meth. Okay. Well, uh, the guy had some uh, bullets in his pocket, and there's a couple on the seat. And so my partner there just found a gun uh, under the front seat of the car. The, uh, the car's coming back stolen, and the guy's got, uh, it looks like, some dope in his pocket, and uh, a couple of weapons in the car. Where'd the plates come from that are on the car? The back? It's from a blazer. From a blazer? So yeah. it's a, a, some it's other mystery blazer. blazer or what? No, it's the ones that came on. So well, then how do you know that it's blazer. from a blazer? We're en route to a call and reference a, a suspect trying to get away from uh, a security guard. Was looking for him uh, on a shoplifting charge. Yes, sir, what's wrong? Did you just walk... Did you just walk out of that thrift town store over there? Yes, sir. That thing went off, but I didn't. I didn't take nothing from it. Yeah. This is true. What's wrong? Well, he started beeping when he went through the sensors. Okay. They said you didn't beep when you came in. Okay. But you beeped on the way out. Yeah. You know, he had some clothes. I saw him when he went to the clothes. He got to the dressing okay. room, you know, and he wouldn't stop when they said, "Stop, sir, 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 stop." And it did beep when I walked through there. I don't know why, sir. Yeah. I think they beeped it because they thought that I was going to steal, and I used to steal. So maybe and I think they used it against me for what happened in the past, sir. But see what happened is they, I've been in there before, and they thought that I was going to do it again, and I didn't. And that threw them off, sir. So this product uh, contains pseudoephedrine, which uh, is very popular to shoplift. Uh, because it's a precursor for making methamphetamine. I have you got sinus trouble, sir. Real bad, I can tell. Yeah. Sir, that okay. lasts you about four years. Did you see this? It was in the change pocket, a little resi residue. Of something uh, he's there. a mether, yeah. No, sir. This isn't yours. Are these your pants? I mean, I pulled this out of your pants, and you said this isn't mine. I mean, these are your pants, I'm, right? I'm not, I'm not even in, I'm not even into that.